guys, it's Dr. James Kennedy, Texas Foot and Ankle Centers. I have a patient here that we suspect of having peripheral neuropathy. Now, I treat peripheral neuropathy all the time. It is, uh, unfortunately, it is incredibly difficult to treat. It's one of the harder things that I treat. You know, if you, if you take out something like an ingrown toenail, that's fairly straightforward. You numb up the ingrown toenail. If it's not infected, you know, you take acid or... Um, you know, CO2 laser or cure it, and you actually remove the matrix of the root. Peripheral neuropathy, small fiber neuropathy is much harder to treat. So here's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you a uh, epidermal nerve fiber density test. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to take a tiny sample of nerve fiber, we're going to send it off to a lab, and then we're actually going to show you what it says and how how uh, the nerve fibers, how much nerve fibers are left, okay? So usually when a person suspects that they have peripheral neuropathy, this is kind of the gold standard. We use a company called Baco. It's, it's based out of Georgia. We've done it for years. And it'll be interesting to see if this patient truly does have peripheral neuropathy. And when we get the results back, we will have her back in the next two weeks. And that's part of the second episode of this video is to showing what it looks like. Okay, so here's what I do in the beginning. I take a small pin, surgical pin, okay, and then what I do, I put it right here on the ankle. That's what they recommend, either uh, the left side or the right side. She's having more pain on the right, so we thought we'd do the one that's hurting the worst. I take a little bit of alcohol, just squirt a tiny bit of alcohol, just like this, and then I usually tie it, use a little bit of cold spray, one, two, three, right on this area. It's really not that painful. And then what I try to do, I try to do this distal to the mark. So go in, put a tiny little wheel right here, okay? And usually I'll wait 10 minutes, and then we'll come back and take it. Thanks, guys.